Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. We are Jane. We are Jane. Slide over in here. What are you eating? He is working on luscious fruit snack. As always, he's got something to snack on. Alright, today is July 2nd, right? What episode is this? 140. Whatever you want it to be. <laughs> it's 140. It'll be on the header. It'll be on the header. There you go. We're kind of waiting on the train to leave there, huh? So. Alright. We gotta start over. Oh no. My head's on crooked. Welcome to the Straw Family Farm. We are starting over now. <laughs> no, we're not. Okay, so. It's <sighs> been one of them weeks, huh? It's been an outstanding week. Okay, you haven't gotten hurt once. Right? In the meantime, I've been busted in the face by a kid, dove under a fence to get away from Zebu Mom. Um, there will be days like that. <laughs> there will be days. It's been going on since Thursday. I'm sore in places I didn't even know I had. Alright, so let's get on with it and tell them what's going on in the barn stalls. What has been going on in the barn stalls? Our little duck is still over there, right? I haven't checked her today, but. She was fine. Yeah. But, well, when we say this morning, we checked when you got in from rodeo, right? Mm -hmm. Which was technically this morning. So. 6.30. We know we were done by 6.30, so it was on no. for 5. 5. Alright, so, in the barn stalls, Leia and Garrett went to their new home, correct? We've already checked on her to not right on me. And we've already checked on them once, correct? Mm -hmm. We actually saw them and they're doing really good. And then. You stop. That's cool. There's just nothing in mind. Um, Alright, listen to me. Pay attention. I'm all okay. Pay what? attention. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so. Thursday. What happened? Two. two caps. And why did I have issues getting them loaded? I don't know why. They're just little baby. They just want to hug. <laughs> yeah, it's 75 pounds. And I just have one little mark left. I don't even know if you can see it. It's right there now. So I'm good, right? Is it still there? Right there. Oh, it's on there. this side? Okay, yep, there it is. Okay. So, anyway. I don't know. There it is. Right there. I just have one little mark left. But what happened? First, there was a gentleman helping me load him. And he took a couple of kicks. Uh, the calf didn't want to go in. I don't think this calf had ever seen a human being before. It was out on a pasture, and the mom was pulled in. And she was old, and the baby had an umbilical cord. We're not even sure that if it got colostrum or not, correct? Okay. I ran and got um, some powdered colostrum, which was better than no colostrum at all. Um, so we uh, kind of had fun loading it. Um, I got it in the trailer, and it tried to jump out the back. And I was loading another little guy, or little girl, um, and she didn't want to stay in the one horse trailer with him. He was that crazy. So, um, but I finally got him home. Yeah. And when we were trying to load them, what happened to me was he was trying to load him. And he launches off of his back feet. When you catch him, and I like to catch him kind of around the neck and get a hold of him, he launched in his head. He, he pushed off his back legs. And I had bent over him kind of to bear hug him around his And he went wham with his head um the yeah, glasses he did but it was more like a launch straight up my glasses um my nose pieces i still haven't gotten them straightened out uh if you look yeah they're kind of my glasses are kind of warped now but it is what it is um and i think the mark really or it's on this side this side didn't focus for a long time but this actually got shoved into my eye and over here the bone is what this rim hit, and so that's 
why it left a mark. Got home and how did you deal with it? Just body. Mm hmm. But was it easy? No. Bottle breaking him has been the hardest easy one. Easy as. I don't know. <laughs> easy as it is hard. Yeah. So, um, it is what it is. But he definitely, um, gave us a workout, huh? Mm -hmm. Even like two days out, up until this morning and last night, he still, we had to separate him off the two bigger kids because they just kept yelling, you know, just running around crazy. What are you doing? What are you doing? Anyway, so we got him um, done. Come on. We got him done. He does come to bottle kind of sorter. He did this morning, right? And then he did at 11. Um, then, let's see. What else happened? Where's my list? I have a list. I really did. Head do I have? Too big my head. Um, so that happened. And then, last night, RJ went to a rodeo. And we had turned Rocket, the baby Zebu, up, correct? Mm -hmm. And his car pulls up and tells me that I've got a Brahma bull <laughs> out on the road. Um... Rockets all of what twenty some pounds of that. So anyway, my Brahma bull with the big hump was out on the road. And he wasn't big. I tried to bring him up and Lee I asked him to open the gate and he ran off to another gate because he didn't want to open the one that was closest because it was wired shut. It's just failing wire. We shut them all with failing wire so the goats don't get out. Anyway, um so I got a hold of it, got it over, um he, Lee decided he would carry the kit because that's his, you know, it's a man thing, I guess. Anyway, then he put it in the stall, and I never heard from him again. I had to go out to the pasture and get Mama, who was very angry and doesn't like me to begin with, and get her to come into the arena and run up to the, the stall where we put it. We just put Rocket back in where he was before he escaped. So Lee wouldn't even hold the cap out where... He, he wouldn't be bait at all. Um, even though he had the calf, if she had seen the calf, she'd run straight to him. But I ended up having to dive underneath a fence, which I'm kind of glad we did the way we did it because there's, to save money on the arena, we used woven wire that was shorter. And so it left like, what, a foot yeah. underneath. And so we put a big space at the bottom to make it look taller, which... That's okay. This woman, I don't know. It's not tuck, duck, and roll. But the Z, Miss Zebu came in and then turned to go at me. And so I dove underneath. And then she ran back up and was between the gate and me. And Bidet decided she wanted to get right in there and be itched on. I was never so thankful to see that big old cow in my life. Because <laughs> she put her butt right between me and Miss Zebu and I could push the day in and close the gate. And there I stood and Lee, he was just off doing whatever. Didn't even bring the, the baby where mama could see it. Nothing. Because when we say we're we're talking half of an arena, he had plenty of time to get back in that pen and get away. How long is that arena from that gate? Three hundred feet, two hundred feet. At least three hundred? At least 200. At least 200. I was, ho I was hoping more like 300. But anyway, <laughs> last night it did not seem long enough. I'll tell you that right now. But it's half the arena length. And if Lee had been up there, he could have, like, held the baby in the fence. Mama would have seen it and gone running to him. And he had plenty of time to get that baby in that pen. Mama would have run right up in that pen. Lee never would have been in harm's way. But since Lee is being Lee, I was having to dive under fences. The back of my leg, my leg muscles because I had to literally dive. Um, my back leg muscles are, I feel like I fought cramps all night, but I haven't. It just, the way I had to launch underneath there and wiggle my butt through. Yeah, I'm pretty sure God was getting a chuckle last night. I was not happy. Um, she really could have hurt me. 
and all because Lee wouldn't hold that calf out. And I was hollering for him, hold the calf out, hold the calf out, and he just stood there. And he says, well, I was trying to make it cry. I don't know. Anyway, so that happened. Um, hopefully Lee's going to get back on track and start thinking things through and actually try to help instead of, you know, possibly somebody getting hurt. Um, Miss Zebu is the only one we really have to watch, correct? Mr. Zebu will act stupid if he's penned and the girl cows are around. But when he's out on pasture, he's not crazy, is he? And when he's in his pen with no girls, he's not crazy. So it's just if we go to move him and then the females are there and they're open, he gets a little crazy. But that's the only time. And he is a bull, so we expect that of him. So anyway, that was our exciting, lovely night. Huh. And where is Rocket and Miss Zebu now? Back in our pen. I'm not chasing them again. We will not let them out until I have RJ on horseback um, to see if they go straight to that little pocket again and get out. So. All right, mending fences. What do we do on mending fences? Hmm? I fixed the pump so that we can start pumping that well out onto the pasture, right? Mm -hmm. So we can fight our drought conditions and have a little bit of extra hay. Um, anything else? I don't think we had to really fix anything else, have we? No. Okay. In the yarn farm, we've been doing the little book program started yesterday, but we really didn't expect anybody with it being Fourth of July weekend. Around here, there's places doing it this weekend and places doing it next weekend so it is what it is correct all right chicken was our topic next week is what go so we'll be ready and if they come they come if they don't they don't so I don't think there's anything else going on in the yarn farm do we? I really have concentrated more on in the fields huh mm -hmm. what's going on in the fields because you're just sitting here eating fruit snacks oh what'd you do yesterday in the garden. I buried a body. He buried a body. <laughs> we didn't. <laughs> he dug a hole big enough to bury a body. Come on, tell him what, what you did for me and, and where you got the idea. Alright, so mom's been griping. She wants a fire pit, right? Yep. Alright. Let's start. Yep. So, how did you get this brilliant idea? I was looking at all these sale ads for the 4th of July. Mm -hmm. And I seen this fire pit on sale. But it's not a fire pit, it's just the It's just a little ring. Deal. It's a ring. A fire ring. And you can build fire in it da, 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 and keep it contained. And I got the brilliant idea that looked just like a water trough. And that we had an old rusted out water trough full of junk. Mm -hmm. Now the so, only difference in our water trough and the fire ring is it has part it's of a rusted shape. bottom. Well the shape. Our our stock tank is oval, oval. and the fire ring was brown. Okay, so what did you do for me? We dug a hole and we buried it like three quarters of the way down to make a pit down in the hole so we can have a fire. Not have a fire pit in the garden, right? We won't need it till December, but hey. Hey, we will too. I can make hot dogs and burgers up there. You're making us some ribeye steaks, too. Yeah, they're threatening saying that I should go down there and cook so that they can steal it. You think you can run that fast, right? No, it's going you know, to steal it on a horse. Or the car, <laughs> the car on the road. <laughs> steal it, run, jump to the fence, and go on. Yep. Okay, and then I moved two plant rings, right? Mm -hmm. And what do we do with the two red plant rings that are their tree rings? But I had just made them off of a crystal tubs. I just cut them. And it... You couldn't take it off the tree without lifting it up and over, and the trees were getting, what, three foot tall, two foot tall, how tall, they're more than two foot, they're about waist high, and so I took those off and actually put some plastic removable, Don't move. stop, you're not going to poke me with I'm that, I'm not going to poke you, watch, no you're not, I don't know what you're going to do, but no you're not, I won't poke you, I, I not mean, a sharp thing near my eye, I'm going to beat him, I'm going to beat him, it is quit. It's a safety pan. Hello, safe not <laughs> yeah. Not very safe in his hands. Anyway, so um anyway we moved the tree ring. What we do what do we do with the two makeshift tree rings? Because I actually put tree rings out there right now. I did. I made them into flower beds. Um I'll probably just they're on either side of the swing, so I'll probably just put some annuals or something in there. I don't know what. Um 
All right, in the farmhouse. I hope you don't stop. I'm going to get you quick. Stop. What else has been going on in the farmhouse? This is where you're supposed to talk about your rope. Mm -hmm. What happened with your rope? And why are we so tired and cranky? And why are you playing with my safety pin? Uh. <laughs> He's holding the drawer with his knee. <laughs> I cannot hold the drawer with both my hands up here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, what did you do real from last night? Went you, didn't really go, you didn't go anywhere Friday. No. Okay, but you got Saturday? Yep. Okay, and? I, uh, uh... Where'd you go? Went to bags. Okay, and? Did you kept rope? Yes. How'd missed. you do? You missed. What about your team rope? Uh, win the team rope. Okay. Um, what time did you get home? Uh, five. Okay. And by the time we got chores done, it was about six. Mm -hmm. And then we got to bed about six thirty, right? Uh -huh. So, and now we're we got some sleep, and then I got up and did the bottles again, and let these guys sleep till almost one. So, all right. The only thing that happened with me in the farmhouse is last hey. week. Uh oh. Yeah, she's pig has learned to open my cabinet door where I keep the dog food, so she's constantly getting in there, and all of the dog food and the milk and plates and everything is now out on the bar because she can get it open and get in there and get it, huh? So anyway, um, I did my herb of the month, and this month it was supposed to be powerhouse, and it's an herb like an herbal sports drink. It contains spearmint, peppermint, lemongrass, hibiscus, licorice root. Horse tail, uh, rose hips, red clover, oat straw. I think that's it. And then they say their favorite way to use it is to infuse it into pineapple juice and drink the juice. I just make a tea with it. Right now I'm really content making a tea type and, and figuring out the flavors that I like and the ones that I might need to look for an alternative method of consumption. Um, this one does say that... Uh, not to take it while pregnant or breastfeeding. And these are from Natural uh, Medicine Mamas. And I think they're a pretty small company. I'm not real sure. Um, they're on Facebook, few videos. But when I was supposed to get my powerhouse, I got focus again. So she had sent me my packages, and they were the wrong herbs with the right paperwork. So I contacted them, and in no time flat, they apologized, sent me on a thing. I got a, a handwritten note. So sorry I sent you the focus again. Um, here's the powerhouse. As an apology, um, she sent me a foot soak. And I have not used it. I'm not a big sit still person, so I haven't done a foot soak yet. But um, it just says for ingredients. Um, I can't even read that. What's that say? Way out there. Alfalfa, thyme, thyme, eucalyptus, rosemary, Epsom salt. Okay. So all of that is in here. Don't waste of alfalfa. Hi. And you can actually see the salt on the back side in that. So um, I'm actually thinking that I might try it. I'm, I'm not, I've never done a foot soap before. So I'm going to try it and see. Ah, the other thing that I'm thinking is now I've got quite a few packages of focus and I was going to do some kind of giveaway here. How are we going to do it though? If you, you watch these, you next week. No. <laughs> we need him to comment or do something, right? Because it's going to be for YouTube. Um, so anybody from Facebook would have to come over and watch this video and we'll tag it that way, right? Mm -hmm. um, what do they have to comment? It's just a comment to enter. Tell me how big of a dork RJ is. <laughs> comment word sassafras. Okay, you heard him. If you comment what? sassafras in any comment, um, I guess you're entered to in a drawing for um, the focus. And I will get a copy of the uh, paper that they send with it. Um, and, and if you misspell it, it doesn't count. Okay, so you have to know how to spell. 
spell away, G. And yes, I know how to spell that. I went to Camp Sassafras as a Girl Scout. So. Sass. S. A. S. S. A. F. R. I didn't do that. Let's go to Chupacabra. <laughs> you can't spell that either. Spelling does not count. Uh, look, he's going to Google it. Um, okay, so now you can comment of Chupacabra or Sassafras. There you go. Either one of those words, comment with those. And um, we will send you out a um, sample. And, and it's just, it's going to be a pack like this. And it's going to be of their focus one. And you can make it into teas. They have different ideas on how you can use it. Um, but it's, I really like it. I, right now, like I said, I'm making them into teas. This is a foot soap, so I'm not making it into a tea. But um, the one I'm sending is for like teas and stuff. And if you like them, you can go on and check them out over at Natural Mama. Uh, Natural Medicine Mamas or something. They have a Facebook page and they have a hidden Facebook page for those of us that. Um, are in that club. They have two different ways that they have what, two different clubs, what they call it. If you start ordering from them and have certain monthly things that you order from them constantly, you can join a club and they just ship it out to you automatically. And then they've got the herb of the month one. And it is announced on their web page like it tells you what they're going to tell you about. So it's not like a total mystery. And I am sure if you didn't want that month or something, you could call them and say, hey, you know, or Facebook them or email, whatever, and say, hey, I'm not really interested in that one. Can you find me something else? And I'm pretty sure they would. Yeah, I, they're just that kind of way. And they were super um, apologetic for making the mistake. I had just joined, so they probably just thought they hadn't sent that one yet, but they had. So anyway, um, Chupacabra or Sassafras will get you entered to win a sample pack and it'll and be just like this size. If you post a picture of a chibacopper, you get a double entry. Okay. Post a picture. What about if they post a picture of sassafras? Uh, sure. It gets you a double entry. Okay. So, I don't know if you can post pictures on YouTube though. If post it can. to our Facebook. So, you can enter with a photo on our Facebook and the actual entry on our thing, right? Yep. All right, so there you have it. Um, and check out the Natural Medicine Mamas. They they do herbs, and it's awesome. Um, I'm really liking it. The Powerhouse, um, I don't know. It's giving me energy, so that's a good thing, right? Okay, on the porch. Quit. I've been making soaps. What have you been doing? Hmm? What have you been working on in your room? Eat, sleep. No. My cowboy toy shoot. He's making him a shoot for his cowboy toy. It's What's the done. principle? What? How does it work? What's a cowboy toy? These people might not even know. You can Google it. It'll make sense. It's this little plastic thing. But the it's a toy. little plastic dummy that is shaped like a cow, and you can rope it, correct? Yes. Now, it normally sits out there, but you want yours to move, correct? So, you're using what? PVC pipe. To make something to launch it. Launch it. And they slide really good, so, and it's not like it's an original idea. Other people have made them, people, uh, there's a company that sells them, but he's just making himself one, just because, right? Alright, so he's been, they are expensive, but they're just made of PVC pipe, so he's making his own. He's been working on that. I've been working on my soaps, but none of them have cured out, so I don't have anything for off to market. Um, we went to the farmer's market, didn't we? Mm -hmm. And I took some lotion bars and that. I'm thinking I might start putting up my lotion bars and a few sample things in the Etsy shop and posting them on Facebook because I've been having a lot of people ask me. Um, and so I've been looking at other alternatives to Etsy too. Just saying. So, um, anything else? No. I don't think so. We got feed this week. Got minerals for the cattle, right? Um, that's it. The bottle feeding cats a lot, right? How many bottle cats do we have now? Three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No hablo English. Español. No hablo español. 
He almost said no habla inglés. Almost. <laughs> you can tell his Spanish lessons went far, huh? Um, okay, so we've got the bottle feeding calves, and we've got the uh, two bigger calves that have now gone to feed, correct? Yep. So, all right, we will keep you posted. Don't forget sassafras and ch chupacabra. Chupacabra. Either one, and spelling doesn't matter. So, um, and the herbals. And this right here, um, these packages, I just use a tea ball, and I'd say I'd make four good servings of, you know, make tea or whatever. So, anyway, all right, I probably should have weighed them to see. We'll send you all the information with it, too. So, all right, we'll see you next time. Right? I Peace out, Max. Yeah.